Sorry. Uh, well, because okay. I use I use um, GoToMeeting all the time, and I, I record it, then I send it to my client, so that's fine. Yeah, no, that makes sense. So yeah, so that and so create the quote. Like I said, you can have as many different quote formats as you want, um, and it will automatically print those quote formats out for you. All of that is done with Crystal Reports. So any oh, okay. quote format Good. that you have today can be okay. basically um, converted directly into Command Center, so they can Perfect. continue using the formats that they're happy with. You're not okay, stuck with so. uh, what we've got as a default. Okay, hold on. Yep. Okay, got it. Okay. Now, once they go ahead and approve that job, we change that, that to in, in progress. Go ahead and save it. And I'm not linked with QuickBooks, so that's why I'm getting an error message there. But it will automatically... Um, set your job number on there, and that error message came up because it was unable to connect to QuickBooks. So um, it was trying to write that job over to QuickBooks for me, and uh, it just didn't find the file. So right. that's um, that's why I got that. Anyhow, it keeps track of all of those quotes for you, um, and from here we can go ahead and <coughs> we can, uh, print our work orders out. And again, you can have as many different formats as you want to. Um, so here's just another example uh, of everything that's going to be on there. Um, you can have them kind of broken down however you want. So if you've got work orders that you're using today, again, it's Crystal. We set up the format so that they match what you guys are using today. Or we can, uh, we've got a ton of different examples that are available as well. So if there's something that you like that we can show you, we can start using that as well. And then also, would they be able to scan in? Many times a salesman will do a, 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 um, a drawing. Yep. Is it possible to scan that drawing into this? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Yep. And you then can, can they modify the drawing? Uh, you can't modify it directly in here, no. Um, okay. if, you were to, if you were to go ahead and link to file, find that particular file. So let's just find something here. Anything. Um, and, and attach that file on here. Then that file becomes available, right? Um, and you can, you can open that file. If you overwrite or change that file, it will automatically change it in the command center here for you. If you overwrite or change that file. Yeah, so the, all this is doing is basically looking back to that wherever that file is on your server. Okay, so, so open that up, open that up, open that up. Okay, so you can, this is in Windows Photo. We'll, we'll, well, let's save a... It works with PDF, PDF? Excel, okay. Word. Okay, yeah. great. Yeah, so hold on. Okay, so they can modify the PDF file. Okay, good. Thanks. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. You can do it within the the pro. Well, I guess you could if you have a PDF editor. Um, yeah. Right. It, it allows you to open it, and, and okay, good. Then you can edit it there. Yeah. Okay, so so far, let me revisit this. We've set up a quote for yeah. out of town try out of town travel, and then some drains, I guess gutters or something like that. Okay, so that's all yep. we're quoting on. Okay, got it. Yep. yep. And obviously, <clears throat> if you want to take some of these items out, you can just right click, you can delete them, and, and edit yep. it so that it, it, it makes sense to you, right? right? Right, right. Now, we can specify our scheduled start date. So if we're starting today, uh, it'll put those start dates on there. Um, and uh, we can actually just schedule them directly in here as well. So if we want to put dates on here, you can do that. Okay, and, so you could put in there permit application. You could have a, a start date scheduled to end, and this comes up in reminders somewhere? Well, they come in in your dispatch board, okay? Okay. So we can assign a crew as to who's doing it in here, or we can look in our schedule, save this before we go over there, and we're going to see all of those tasks, and they're color-coded. So we can see exactly what we're needing to do and when we're needing to do it. You can check your duration. You can break this down by the sector of the city you're in and, and where those jobs are. Um, you can um, break down your resources and see how many jobs each of your resources has on each day um, and, and um, see how many jobs that we've got on each day. Uh, just allows you to very easily manage your crews, where they're going to be, where they need to be, 
and uh, what's going on on, on a day-to-day -day basis. So you can look at each of these tasks directly in here as well. You can assign your crew and resources to this in here. Um, so if I say, hey, I'll use this crew, it's got my resources. So there's my lead, my labor, and my equipment that are going to be on that job now. Okay. Got it. Okay. So just, uh, and then obviously um, just allows you to very easily um, figure out which guys are where. And if uh, they're unassigned, you can just drag and drop them to, to, to the crew we want them on. Got it. Okay. Okay, so now we have the proposal. Now we want to convert this into an actual job because it's still in proposal. Oh, no, Actually, status I've, in progress. Yeah, I've already done that. So to turn it into a job, all you have to do is change the status from proposal to in progress. Then why does it still say proposal under the command center title? That was the proposal this came from. Got it. Okay, I'm with you. Okay. So yeah, the job name uh, is is right here, and that's kind of what you would always refer to. So this, yeah, this is just where this. And the job is. name can be alphanumeric, correct? Sure, sure can. Yep, and okay. we can set it so that it'll automatically pull the next job number for you. So you don't have to remember where you were, or what you need to do. It'll automatically number those jobs for you. Okay, and and <clears throat> you also said that the quote when it comes out of the system, we can tailor design that to meet my client's needs. Yes. Yes. Yep. Okay. And you can have different quotes. Uh, Absolutely. Format. As many different, different quotes formats. as you need to. Yep. Okay. Okay, good. So that goes over the quotes and converting it into the job. I understand that. Show me commissions real quick. Um, okay. So commissions, I would expect, um, and tell me if I'm wrong, but I would expect we would use a report to do that. So we've got a price on this job for 677 What I would suggest is we do a report that adds up everything that's going to be on that job and then tells us how much we're going to have for a commission for that. Okay. Um, we could add an item in here that we could manually calculate, but that's going to be about it. The report is the way I would suggest we would do the commissions in here. Okay, so let me just back up and kind of parrot back to you what I'm hearing you say. So we know what yep. the price is. It's mm -hmm. our, our, our profit is 677.38. Where's our costs on this? Uh, we don't have any costs on here at the moment. I can add those costs in just by coming in here, and you can have a yeah, material just cost. Just add a couple just for just so that we have something. And you don't want to add it there. You want to add it on the things that are checked. Um, oh, yeah, good point. Just add something just so that we've got you know, some numbers to play around with. Yeah. <clears throat> While you're doing that, typically for a, a, a subcontractor that has about three million in gross revenues, how long does it take to implement this, to get people trained, uh, the training, the change management, all of that? Um, to be honest, I wouldn't think it would be all that long. Um, it's going to be in around a few weeks. Um, okay. Really, um, it really comes down to how much, re how many resources they can dedicate to it. Right. Okay, got it. But you have a methodology. You have a standard methodology of getting this implemented. So you give them oh, yeah. worksheets oh, yeah. to come up with their list, their inventory, their catalog, um, what the price is, what the cost is. Okay. So yeah, typically a, a typical implementation goes and I, I would go out or we would meet online just like this and uh, we would talk about what's needed to get things set up. So for, very first step is integrate it with QuickBooks so that we can pull all those items and classes across. <laughs> um, and we go through how to create that catalog. Then we get all of their report formats, so their quotes, their report, their invoices, their work orders, and uh, so I, I go away and I build all of those. They go away, they build their catalog, and then we come back for a secondary meeting. We go through workflow and process 
um, and make sure that the reports that have been built are, are, are ready to go and no further um, changes are needed to those, as well as that the catalog is built correctly and that we're going to be able to manage their processes directly in the system. After that, there's one or two meetings with questions or otherwise, and uh, oftentimes we're pretty much ready to go. Got it. Okay, good. Thanks. Okay. So, yeah, so now we've got a couple of costs on there. <clears throat> a cost of 100 and a, a selling price of 677 so Okay, so there are margin and markups and everything are on that. Got it. So they're, I believe they're paid on gross profit of the job, which is, makes sense. Okay. Okay. Um, so we want to be shooting, uh, just for edification, we want to be shooting for a 40% gross profit. Um, right now they're between 30 and 34 percent. So I believe their commission structure is also based on a graduated rate. So if they hit the 40 percent gross profit, they get paid a higher commission. Are you with me? Okay. If their yeah, gross absolutely. profit's lower, they don't. They might not even get any uh, commission. So kind of walk me through how to create those reports then. <clears throat> okay. So that would be something that we would typically do, but we would build that up uh, directly in Chris reports. So okay. it would, it, we would basically build up that report, adding up all of the cost, adding up all of the selling price to give you your <clears throat> gross profit on that. And then we can put the calculations in with, with formulas directly in there that will break down the, um, break down the costing on that and break down the commission on that. So we would use Crystal Reports to build up that um, that that formatting. Um, I don't see any issue with creating something along that line, though. And would you build it in accrual or cash basis? It, at the end of the day, it's entirely up to you. Uh, all it is is a number that we're going to be calculating. So um, you can decide on what way is going to be best for you. Okay, and we can track that commission table because we might want to give the, the salesman, you know, if they sign the, the, the contract today, we'll advance them, let's say, 10% today on yeah. that. Okay, but, yeah. but that job doesn't start until July of 2017. Okay. So we want to track what those prepayments on the commissions are. Okay. So what I would lean towards is I would add an additional field in here, uh, probably call it commissions, and we can add, there. there's like five custom check boxes that we can use. So we can use, and we can use those custom dates as well. And we can basically use that date saying, hey, yes, they've been paid uh, phase one, uh, phase two, phase three, you can set up like up to five phases. And from there we can keep track of what's been paid, when it's been paid, and, and again, use the report to manage all of that. Yeah, because sometimes a job is canceled and we've advanced yep. missions and we want to get that charge back. Yep. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So yeah, I would use my scheduling task to manage that commission. So is this in, in a SQL server then or what? It is. Yeah, it's a SQL backend. Okay, got it. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, we've gone over that. Let's go over scheduling again. Show me that. <laughs> okay, so this is, these are the scheduling tasks that we've got here. Um, it's got a baseline. So it's going to set that baseline based on what we put in as our scheduled start. And we can lock those baseline dates so that when, when we change these dates, um, <clears throat> it keeps track of um, like how well we're doing and whether we've met our dates, whether they're happening. And we can keep track of our scheduled start and end as well. So I can check off scheduled. Um, Oh, those are times, and we can mark this as completed as well. So when these tasks are completed, they will be taken out of this schedule um, schedule view. So we'll no longer see them here. You'll, if they are scheduled, you'll notice that they've got a checkbox on them, and you can double click on them, and you can um, you can edit them directly in here. Um, and again, we're going to have crews that are going to be assigned to each of these. So you you set up your crews, and you you assign your crews to each of these, and it'll assign the resources based on that. You can actually manage your resource um, as well. So uh, we can see all of them and, and where they're going to be, um, as well as our crews and when they're available and when they're not available as well. So we can keep track of um, their, their availability. OK, good. Um, OK, so let's yeah, expand. Ooh. 
Okay, got it. Okay, this is good. Okay, so you can even um, reserve equipment, whether it be truck, oh, yeah. backhoes, yep. or whatever. Got it. Yep. yep. <clears throat> and then if, if somebody tries reserving the same equipment, CV400, for another project, does it give you an error? It, it gives you a warning saying, hey, this is already on this crew. Uh, are you sure you want to use it over here? Okay, good. So, yeah, and then the final steps are really once it's, once it's finished and completed, again, we can do a billing report so we can print out everything that's been completed but not yet billed, and we can right-click and we can create our invoice from here. So just check this off. Now, if you are doing contract billing for any reason, you can keep track of percentages as to what's been billed, what hasn't been billed, what needs to be billed. And um, so if you're, if you're not doing 100%, you can keep track of that and go ahead and save those invoices. And those invoices are going to post directly across to QuickBooks as well. And then how quickly or how easily is it to do a change order? Um, change orders are typically managed in a separate work order. So we just go ahead and we go add. We add a new work order in and uh, call it uh, change order work order. So we can do a custom work order, for example. Change order one. Throw some comments in there. Needs extra number. And then we just add in um, the, the type of work that it's going to be, as well as whatever is being added on there. And obviously you can keep track of material costs, labor costs, subcontract, other overhead. Um, all of those are separate fields that you can keep track of each on the, uh, one individual line. Okay. <clears throat> so do, do any cash transactions impact your command center? Let's say that we build a client, uh, let's say that the, the salesperson is paid on collection and we've built a client uh, 5,000, they've paid 4,000 and we still have a remainder out there of 1,000. How do you switch back and forth in your system to track that? Uh, typically, all of the AR aging is done directly out of QuickBooks. So we create the invoices here, we post them to QuickBooks, and then you collect your cash um, and manage your aging directly in QuickBooks itself. But how do we remember you we're going to add another column for the commissions? Yes, it would be a manual task in that case. So we can keep track of, like we would basically have to add in uh, like the date fields and everything else and when they were, be when they were paid and, and kind of their commission structure directly here. But that would be all be managed, like wh whether they were paid or not uh, would, be paid, would be managed directly through uh, QuickBooks. So this would be an extra place, it would essentially be a tracking place to, to manage your commissions. That would definitely be kind of a downside where you'd end up having to manage it in two places. We can have it calculated automatically, but we wouldn't. It wouldn't post or manage any of that information. Okay. Um, okay. Good. Um, so then, yeah, this is good. If you can send me that file, I think we're done, you guys. Okay. Um, at least I'm done. My client might want more information. And then, um, um, Avi, are you still on? Yep. Okay. If you can put together a proposal, uh, there's going to be about uh, three, um, I would call them heavy users, and maybe four, uh, let's just call it four light users for this. Okay. So the licensing for this is all done concurrent. So how many people do you think would need to be logged in at the same time? Oh, at the same time? Yeah. No more than no more than three. Okay, so we'll set it up for three. And then obviously they can add more if necessary. 
So you don't you don't uh, discern between heavy users and light users? No, um, we 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 got a concurrent licensing basis. So uh, essentially, seats on a bus. If you've got three people logged in there, um, then you can uh, then you've got three licenses. Uh, right. You can install it on every machine in your office. Uh, you can have as many users available to log in, but as soon as you hit three at the same time, it'll keep the fourth person from logging in. Got it. Okay, that's fine. Okay. And then also in your, um, <clears throat> I, I understand that you're going to have to do a little more scope uh, to determine what the price is for the training and the change management, but just give me an idea on that, okay, you guys? Yeah, my expectation would be about 10 hours of training, uh, just, to, just as a guess from prior experience, uh, and we build that out at $175 an hour. So another probably seventeen fifty or or two thousand dollars budget okay. for implementation. Got it. And then um, just give me a range uh, of the actual. You were just talking about training, not implementation, right? Well, I, I, that that training and implementation is is kind of all in all in one. So typically, my guess would be around two thousand dollars for training and implementation. Wow. And that's building the crystal reports and everything. Yeah, typically. I mean, it's 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 an easy product to use. It's fairly easy to get into as well. So, um, typically, five or six hours of training is good, and then four hours of report building is is kind of where it ends up landing. Got it. And then, um, do you guys have some good tutorial YouTube videos? Unfortunately, that we don't. Um, the biggest thing about Command Center is it's hugely customizable. Um, so having a basic um, YouTube video to tell to, to cover everything, um, we haven't been able to come up with a good way to do it yet. Mm. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah. Um, so uh, I guess I, I do have one more question with when we're with. Um, uh, implementation. Do they want somebody to come on site? Because that is available, but obviously that would up the the implementation cost because we'd have to get down to wherever they're at. Yeah. You know, um, right now I don't. Where Where are you out of? Uh, Calgary, Canada. Yeah, I don't think that that's necessary. Um, okay. I think uh, I think with proper. I mean, I've done a lot of implementations, um, so. You know, we're going to be here to help them. Um, the big thing, though, is the change management, quite honestly. Yeah. And how to set up the parameter, parameters uh, initially. I mean, we've got to really scope this thing out well with a, a strong project plan. Um, and I just, I, I don't think you'll need to come down. I really don't. Okay. Great. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's fine by me. I, I like to ask the question because, um, again, in construction, often that face-to-face -face meeting uh, makes things a little bit easier. But if you're helping them out from that end, uh, that, that kind of alleviates the need for that. Okay. Um, okay, let me see here. Okay, anything else? Um, Nothing, again, fairly straightforward program, fairly easy to use. Um, if they find that they have additional needs, we do have Job Simplicity, which is a more complex program that will do more of what you're looking for, like payroll. Um, we can automatically create those uh, commission invoices and other things, but there's more steps and more involved on implementing, and I don't know that they'll get the value out of it um, that they would need to, to really um, make it work properly. So if if there are things here that kind of are, are showstoppers, we could look at job simplicity, but um, I, I honestly think this is probably the best product. Good. Okay, good job, you guys. Thanks. Okay, yeah. I will uh, talk to you soon. We'll get you a quote over for um, the implementation and the, the uses right away here. And the, and the video? Yeah, and the, uh, the video. And the, yes, I will send you the video. Oh, thanks, you guys. Just one quick okay. question. It's just when it comes to the the client.
Do you think they're going to want to do something, like review something ASAP, wait till January, just because the holidays want to get a feel from you? Oh, no, no, no. It's going to be, I mean, I've got to manage this thing.